There's something about leaving that I just love so much. Sometimes I don't even think I'm addicted to going to new places. I think I'm just addicted to leaving the old ones. Guess where I am? I'm in Vegas. Well, not really actually. I'm just outside of Las Vegas, but I'm gonna stay here at this um, hotel slash casino slash truck stop because it has good reviews on iOverlander and this is my first time camping alone in a while. So I just wanna be somewhere comfortable. It's really cloudy. It's really windy. There is high wind advisory. So I'm probably not gonna be partying here. Maybe I'll go into the casino. The main thing is the barometric pressure is horrible. It's like 29.44 right now, which is so low. I've literally never ever seen it that low in my life. My head's killing me. So I think it's just time to hang out in this casino parking lot. It's so funny because the Nevada end, it's like super, super windy, super cloudy. It's like you could blow away, right? And they're just over here going to the casino on a random Tuesday afternoon. All right, I'm gonna find a spot. I went from camping with like 20 people every single night to just me and the truckers again. Morning. I remember when I lived in my car, I used to be, oh, where's my brush? I remember when I was living in my car and I would wake up in a random parking lot and I would be so nervous in the morning to take my window covers off and I would try to be as quiet as possible so no one heard, I think I called it a monologue from inside of my car. And now I just don't give a shit at all. In fact, I actually open the windows to give myself light so I can see while I get ready in the morning. And this parking lot's pretty busy, which is good. I think that's a good thing. There are a lot of vans here. They even have RV parking. So that's always nice to see when you are stealth camping in the wild. Yesterday I got into Nevada and I have to say Nevada, at least Southern Nevada has some of the nicest highway roads I've ever driven on. Truckers are getting up. It was so nice and smooth. And at that moment, wide and stress, not 20 yards from me. And the landscape is so wide open. It was like a dream. That's the kind of highway driving I have missed for so long. It's very chilly here. And I think it's gonna to continue to be. It's going to be winter storming. There's a winter storm watch throughout the whole country right now. So I picked a good time to travel. <laughs> I'm actually gonna be meeting up with some pals in Death Valley today. So I'm gonna be driving to California. Maybe I'll come back to Nevada and have some fun. But unfortunately my casino night plans got derailed because of the storm. Anyway, onwards and upwards. It's time to head to California. It rained last night, so I got a little car wash. Good. Enter a highway in the sunshine. So you guys know that I've always had difficulty sleeping. I have difficulty having a regular sleep schedule. I have sleep anxiety, the whole nine yards. Well, I'm elated to tell y'all that I have been sleeping like a baby recently, all thanks to the sponsor of this video, Sweet Dreams. I am no stranger to taking melatonin to go to bed because even if I do get tired, I have extreme difficulty falling asleep and more importantly, staying asleep. I wake up for anything and everything until I started taking Sweet Dreams. First of all, the ingredients are natural and vegan, and I love that it has not only melatonin, but CBD and magnesium, which really, really relaxes all my muscles before bed, and it makes me feel like I'm floating into sleep on a cloud. Not to mention it tastes like a literal Sweet Dream. You could probably eat these as a snack. But obviously the best thing about it overall is that it actually works. I take one gummy before bed, and I'm able to wake up the next day rejuvenated, refreshed, and best of all, not groggy whatsoever. So if you want to improve your sleep quality, I highly recommend you giving these a try. Sweet Dreams is offering a $5 risk-free trial for five nights. They'll send you five gummies, and if you love them, they'll send you a discounted supply so you can sleep as good as I do. And trust me, no one sleeps as good as somebody with no responsibilities. Just click on the link in the description below to try it out for yourself and to start having Sweet Dreams. And this is the one thing about operating on solar. My power station is almost dead because there's been no sunshine.
We got breakfast of champions this morning. Spring water and um, country ham croissant. The sun has finally come out, so that's a plus. It was freaking freezing, but I'm so ready to drive on these beautiful roads and see some familiar faces because last night was cold and lonely and I felt sick. Today's gonna be good though, I can feel it. Good morning from Death Valley, California. I just woke up, I'm a little congested. It's very windy here as well as everywhere I've been, in case you can't hear. Oh my gosh, I had the craziest drive over here. Yesterday morning, I left Nevada and I drove here to Death Valley. What I didn't know is that between Nevada in California, getting from a very dry place to another very dry place, there's mountains in between and it was snowing. There was snow everywhere. So that was a little nerve wracking. Um, I really didn't ever want to drive in snow. I spent the entire winter in Arizona trying to avoid snow. Obviously it didn't happen, but that was okay. It was beautiful. It was picturesque. What I didn't like is right when I got to the Nevada, California border, the sky was almost black. It was so dark and it just started hailing out of nowhere. And I was like, I actually pulled over. I pulled over at a gas station and just thought, fuck it. I'm not going anywhere. I'm gonna wait this out. But then a little voice in my head said, no, no, the only way out is through. So I peeled out of that hole and I kept going and I made it to my friends in Death Valley and it was so beautiful and so sunny and I'm so glad that I kept going. I have been weathering the literal and mental storms for a while now and I just, I'm glad I pushed myself out of it. For anybody who needed to hear that, I don't know why me getting out of my own ship would help you but just know it's possible if i can drive through hail in my steve ray van that i'm not even always comfortable driving you can get through whatever you need to get through this week anyway wow death valley is not what i expected in a good way i thought death valley was just a big desert but it's really really pretty and i'm glad that we came and also i think we're gonna leave <laughs> because there's a winter storm for apparently most of the country i don't know where we're gonna go i don't even know i don't know it's supposed to snow blizzard, hail, rain, everywhere, everywhere. So I don't know, to be continued. So I am currently now in Death Valley by myself. Nancy and Deborah left today because there's going to be big storm coming and it's supposed to get really rainy and snowy. And I did not go with them because I don't wanna drive in snow and rain. So I have decided to just stay in Death Valley and wait for this whole winter storm to pass. There's no BLM camping around here, I don't think. So I'm just staying again at the campsite that we all stayed at yesterday. It's really nice here and it's nice to have amenities once in a while, like a real bathroom. So this is just where I'm, this is just where I'm gonna be. I never thought it could get windier than Quartzsite until I came to Death Valley. Anyways, lunchtime.
This wind is crazy. And this is delicious. The best thing about being here is that I have absolutely no service, none at all. So last night, I cleaned my van. I did all kinds of shit. I was so productive because I could not be on my phone, even if I wanted to. So I'm excited to have that for a whole weekend. So worried about that freaking money. Take it out of the stock market. You won't have to worry anymore. Mm -hmm. Hide it in some bucket. I'm in the bathroom, if you couldn't tell. And, oh, bad weather is so frustrating. I just wanna run around and I can't. What am I supposed to do, go to bed? Yes, as a matter of fact, I am going to bed. It's gonna rain all day tomorrow and the next day, so I probably don't have anything else to film. That means this video has come to an end. It's time for me to put my retainer in and hit the hay. My cute little van. It's so cozy at night. I'm gonna tell you guys a little story before bed, and I might cut this out because it's kind of embarrassing, but it's just like sleepover talk, okay? come cl come close come close so last year i was dating a pilot not uh, a commercial airline like a fighter pilot the u.s air force and he would always make it seem like being a pilot was so easy like anyone could do it and i was like yeah whatever like not everybody can do it and then of course when the new top gun movie came out he wanted to go see it so i was like okay we can go see it even though i never saw the first one so i had no idea what was going on anyway we went to go see it and after i watched that movie i thought wow he's right being a pilot looks super easy so when i got home after our movie date i called my mom to tell her that i was gonna be a pilot mind you both of my parents are in the military in the air force and she was just like what side eye she didn't really say that but i know she was thinking that and i was like mom seriously anyone can do it i can be a pilot and i was like i can go in as an officer i have a college degree she was just like uh okay i was like what do you not think i'm smart enough it's not that and then he started explaining to me how much training goes into being a pilot and how much work they do and the fact that the military picks what plane you fly so if you really want to fly something cool like an f-16 and the military says hey you're gonna be flying cargo planes that's just what you have to do so after some careful contemplation i decided that i was still gonna do it and guess what i did it Actually, this whole time, I haven't been telling you guys, but the reason why I've been in Arizona is because I've been in pilot training school. I've been training to be a pilot now for months or years, however long it takes to fly a plane. And I'm really happy to tell y'all that I am the first ever female influencer pilot. It's a new program the U.S. Air Force is doing where influencers become pilots to basically spread the word, spread the patriotism. I'm a recruiter, but I do fly planes and I am really good at it. Um, anyway, I think that's enough delusion for tonight. So I'll see you guys later.